Minus five miles an hour. Right. Woo! Oh. You can breathe now. Yeah. That's a noise I don't know. That was beautiful. You, you flew like right over my head. It's like this is the beautiful sound. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, whoa. Is that a circle out there planned or was that? Went over here? No, I was holding. It was turning that way. I was holding full opposite it, rudder and aileron. Right. And oh, waiting God. for the wingtip to come out. Yep. So I could stop it. Yeah, it was gonna just I was just gonna swing out and do this. Right. And it basically wrapped around in a circle all on its own. Yeah, right. yeah. Hey, can you replay on this one? Maybe. Yeah. 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 Free flights have more control. When you're doing this circle, I think it's Uh-oh. I was holding the full opposite. Passed one of the key I don't think I want them. <laughs> <laughs> Did you try it last night? Or... Uh, good morning, I'm Jim Beagle, uh, designer and builder of the Zeppelin Stockin. It's a World War I German bomber. 92-inch uh, wingspan, about 7.5 pounds. It's got uh, five motors in it. GWS 400, uh, uh, running three cells, a, a pair, of, pair of three cell packs, and uh, all the surfaces are full pole in the tail. It's got three rudders, two elevators, and uh, the rigging wires are live. Seventy. 